What's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll show you how to create a login application using intents and bundle. Now I'll be covering this application in two separate videos. Now in the first video we'll add an image to edit text box for input and a button. By the end of this video you'll get the following output. If suppose you enter a wrong password a pop-up message will come up wrong name and phone number enter. If you leave any of the field empty it will ask you to enter enter both the component if suppose you type the correct name and the number okay that is the correct name is Dinesh and the correct number is 9876543210 that is 0 to 9 spelled in reverse order so if you type the correct password and click on login it will take you to a new activity so guys by the end of this video, you will get the following output. We'll create a login application which will move to a new activity only when the name and the number that are entered are correct. And in the next video, I'll show you how to work with bundles and transfer the data from the edit text to the next activity. So guys, let's start with the program. So first I'll go to file, I'll go to new, I'll select new project. I'll give this a name of ed underscore bundle login okay I'll give this a name of activity a okay and I'll give this layout name as activity underscore a after that I'll click finish so as you can see my application is loaded over here next I'll delete the hello world text view so I can keep the layout to relative layout but as I've told you before in relative layout when you have multiple components the design may get scattered sometimes so I'll first change this layout to linear layout next I'll set the orientation to vertical after that to show an image over here I'll use the image view component I'll put it in the center now since I'm using an image view component, I have to put an image inside the drawable folder. So I'll minimize the app. I have an image by the name of engineer's dream. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it inside the drawable folder. I'll press OK. Now after pasting the image, next I'll use the image inside the image view. So I'll set this image as a background. I'll use a drawable. And after the slash, I'll write down the image name that is engineer screen. Now, as you can see, this image is occupying the entire width and height of the screen because the size of this image is 512 by 512 pixels. So what I'll do is I'll change the width and height of this image. So I'll set it equal to 150 dp and the height, I'll also set it equal to 150 dp. Next, I'll add some margin between the logo and the below component. So I'll write down margin bottom and I'll set it equal to 20 dp. So after putting a margin, I'll add two edit text. So I'll first put this edit text over here. Okay. Then I'll again add a small margin for this edit text. Put a margin bottom and I'll put it to 20 dp. And after that, since this edit text will contain name and the other edit text will contain a number so for that i will use this edit text by the name of phone next i'll go to the text tab and this time as you can see this is the first edit text this is the second one which i have used for number and over here since this edit text can take numbers you can see its input type is phone okay meaning this edit text can now only take numbers Okay, next I'll also set a margin bottom of 20 dp here and at the last I'll use a button. Okay, and in this button I'll just type in login. Okay, now one last thing that I'll add over here, I'll just put hint so that the user will know what they have to type inside each edit text. So uh, I'll use a hint attribute that is android colon hint. Okay, for the first edit text enter your name. And for the second edit text, the hint will be enter phone number. I'll also change their IDs. So for the edit text, which will accept name, I'll change this to name. And for the second edit text, I'll change its ID to phone number. 
So guys, as you can see, the design for my login app looks like this. Next, I'll go to the activity A. Okay, but before we write any code in activity A, I need to create a new activity that is activity B. So I'll right click on Java, I'll go to new. And I'll write activity B over here. Okay, and I will just rename the layout. So I'll click finish. Now I have both the activities been shown over here. Next, I'll add two text views inside this activity B. Now after adding the text views, next I'll go to activity A over here. And since in activity A, I have two edit text and a button. So I'll declare the edit text and the button. Next, I'll initialize them. Okay, now for the UR name, I'll choose the name ID. And before I select this ID, let me show you one more thing, guys. As you can see, the ID names of text view and text view 2 are also been shown over here. But these IDs are not inside your activity A, they are used inside your activity underscore B XML file. So, guys, whenever you work with multiple activities please be specific now next i'll choose a name id now once i've initialized the variables next i'll add an on click listener to my button so i'll give this an on click listener of move page next i'll go to activity a i'll declare its method over here Now guys, inside the move page, I will use an if loop and the if loop will check for three conditions. And let me show you what those conditions are. So the first condition is if the user types the correct name and the correct phone number, and if he clicks on login, then this application will move from activity A to activity B. If the user enters any one value in any of the fields, then the application will ask him to enter both the name and the number and if he types the wrong name and the wrong phone number then it will show a toast message that will display the name and the number you have entered is wrong but before we use the if loop we need to store the value inside a string so i'll create two strings for storing the name and the phone number so i'll create the first string i'll give this a name of st name equal to ur name dot get text to string I'll do it for the second string as well I'll give this a name of st phone number now once the values are stored inside a string I'll use the string variable to compare the input that the user has entered so first I'll type down if st name dot equals now inside this equals method, I'll put the correct name and the correct phone number. Okay. And the user inputs have to match this name and phone number. So I'll use equals and inside the bracket, I'll set a name. So the name has to be Dinesh and, and then I'll use an and operator and after that, I'll use a st phone number. So if the value inside the phone number is equal to 9876543210. So if the phone number is equal to these 10 digits, then I'll write the code for the intent. Intent in equal to, I'll press alt enter and import the class for the intent. New intent activity a dot this comma activity b dot class start activity and i'll put the variable name inside this okay so if the name and the number are correct my application will jump to the next activity after that i'll write else if and inside the round bracket i'll copy this line and i'll convert this into an empty string 
and instead of using an AND operator, I'll use an OR operator. So this line basically means if the name field is blank or if the number field is blank, if any of the fields are blank, then we'll print a toast message, which will say enter name and phone number. And at the last, I'll write down toast dot length short. Now the last condition will be else. I'll copy this toast message. And over here, I'll write down I'll change this N and P to capital. So guys, I've basically finished with my code. Let me explain this code once. If the user types the correct name and the correct phone number, then my application will move to a new activity that is activity B. If the user leaves any of the field empty, then a toast message will show up saying enter the name and phone number, or I should just change this to enter both name and phone number. And if suppose the username and password is wrong, then it will show this message wrong name and phone number entered. So guys, I've basically finished with the application. Next, I'll click on the play button and I'll check the output. So guys, as you can see, my application is loaded here. I have the logo set up properly. I have the two edit text and I have a login button. So first I'll just experiment this login app. I'll put wrong names over here. I'll put the name Dino and I'll enter a number. Okay, and since this is a number field, this will only accept numbers. I'll click on login. So as you see, if I click on login, it's saying wrong name and phone number entered. Next, I'll leave any of the field empty. It's saying enter both name and phone number over here. And if I enter the correct name and phone number, let's see what happens. So my name is Dinesh over here and the phone number is 9876543210. And this time if I click on login, you can see it has taken me to a new page. Or oh, I can say it has taken me to a new activity that is activity B. Okay, so guys that basically finishes the video. In this video, I basically showed you how you can create a simple login app using intent. In the next video, I'll show you how we can actually pass this data that is the name and the phone number to the next activity so that whenever you click the login button, instead of showing last text and last text over here, we'll have the name and the phone number been displayed over here. So guys, that's it from this video. If you like this video, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to Engineer's Dream for more videos like this. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.